Imagine yourself at the head of the pack on one of Polaris's exciting cross-country performance machines. Like the heart-thumping 1998 700XC. In 97, the 700 motor produced the most horsepower of any 700 single pipe sled and was named Snow West Magazine's Snowmobile of the Year. For class-leading performance in 98, the revolutionary lightweight U.S.-built 700cc twin-cylinder engine is available in our legendary cross-country chassis. The 700XC is about 18 pounds lighter than Skidoo's 97 MXZ 670. The handling with the CRC packages in the front end and the extra 10 suspension combines uh, on these kind of trails for a lot of fun, a lot of real aggressive fun. Um, through the, the gnarly bumps and the, the really rough terrain, we found, uh, at least I found, that the, uh, the extra 10 in the back was it seemed to work even better in this chassis because I think it's significantly lighter. It feels lighter than uh, chassis with the heat exchangers on the running boards. This setup feels uh, very feathery. As a matter of fact, uh, in my opinion, riding the new XCR 440 with the power valve motor and then getting on the 600, I could not detect any difference in the weight of the chassis and the way it feels. The, uh, the new inboard trailing arms uh, obviously enhance the handling and the, the way the sled uh, pivots in the corners. It has almost no uh, inside ski lift. Uh, it feels to me like the front end will actually start to push out before it'll lift the skis and it's very confident, inspiring in the corners to have the front end bite that hard and not high side and lift the inside ski. Um, as far as the performance and, and high end power, these motors uh, are very strong through the tight trails and in the turns, but uh, wow, do they ever go flat out. Unlike many competitive sleds, the Polaris Extra 10 rear suspension is dual action coupled. The front and rear long travel suspensions are integrated, providing an improved ride with precise handling. Premium Fox gas shocks and Polaris exclusive no maintenance compression adjustable ride AFX shocks are standard as well. What's impressive about this package right here is that it still is using your original Indy chassis but it's been tweaked and improved upon for so many years you ask yourself when is it ever going to end and it keeps getting better and better and better. We have composite skis, we have redesigned front suspension, we have a rear suspension that rides very smoothly but yet it doesn't sacrifice anything in terms of uh, you know top speed, high fax wear, anything like that. They've really done a good job with this vehicle.